Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my summer essentials. I have beauty, lifestyle, let's get to it. And before I get started, a portion of this video is sponsored by Beach Waver. So first essential is going to be the Beach Waver S1. This is such a stunning curling iron. I am obsessed with it. So adorable, but also the functionality of this, it rotates. It does the work for you. It's like a tiny little clamp at the bottom. You have the option of either rotating it to the left or the right. Literally just takes the hair in your left with a perfect curl. It has a setting right here for fast or slow, which is very convenient. You just kind of flick it on to how you would like to curl your hair. The heat up time is so fast and honestly, it's like foolproof. Can we talk about the aesthetic for a second? Like this is so cute. They have multiple different kinds, but this is literally perfect for summer. I feel like this is perfect if you're on the go or you're on vacation and you don't really wanna curl your hair, but you still wanna have that nice beachy wave. This is perfect because it really takes no time at all. It's so simple. So once you have the hair in there and it's rotated up, I would say I leave it on for about like a few seconds and I press this little clamp to release it. Boom, perfect curl. I do like to brush them out at the end as well. You can also use the code BREE20 to save 20% site wide. I'm gonna leave a link to the Beach Waver down below in the description. If you're interested, I would highly recommend, especially for summer, it cuts down the time of doing my hair, which is great. I have a lot of hair and it's really thick, so if we can get the job done under like 15 minutes, I'll take it. I start with the bottom layer first. Usually I'm going away from my head and that's why I'm gonna press the arrow away and repeat the whole process. Sometimes I'll do the inner arrow Arrow, which is gonna make the curl go inward, which is really pretty. And it just really depends on the look that I want for my hair. You can still achieve that big voluminous soft wave look with this. It's also really pretty when you do your hair like this and then put it in a pony. That hairstyle for summer is like a go-to, one of my staples. You guys know I love my ponies and like low slick back pony, but when the actual ponytail has a slight curl to it or like a voluminous kind of pony, so, so stunning. 100% would recommend this. I think it is so nice. And I know for the rest of the summer, this is the curling iron I'm gonna be using. So thank you again to Beach Waver for sponsoring that portion of the video. Next item is gonna be a brown mascara. This is from e.l.f. This is their Big Mood Mascara. Love this mascara in general. I love that it's on a chunky wand and just makes doing mascara so easy. Very voluminous and beautiful. I just think it looks so natural, so effortless. And for the summer, if you don't wanna have a lot of makeup, I find a brown mascara is so natural and so pretty. So I actually think it makes my eyes pop even more. So I'm just obsessed with it overall, but this one in particular from e.l.f. is amazing. So a little bit more of a fashion piece. These sunglasses are hands down my favorite. I shared them in a previous haul and I just cannot get enough of them. I think they're gorgeous. I think they go with literally every look, which is so great. But also sometimes these smaller sunglasses I find really only go for like one look or like a photo. These totally not. These actually fit my face perfectly. The way they're designed, I think they're gorgeous. I actually think these are a designer dupe, which is really nice. I will definitely be wearing these all summer long. I'm gonna have all these products listed and linked for you down below in the description. But these are so good and ones that I keep wearing. So I know I'm gonna be rocking them all summer. Obsessed. Makeup by Mario's new face products are genius. I have a full review on my channel if you're interested. Seriously does wonders for the skin. I'm so in love with it. I find myself really reaching for this every time I do my makeup. The skin enhancer is more of like that cream, kind of like balmy texture and just kind of sculpts out the skin, gives you a little bit of warmth, a little bit of a tan. I love it. And then the Skin Perfector is more of a perfecting powder, which is gonna be like a radiant finish, has some highlighter in there, a little bit of a bronzer. So you would essentially use the Skin Enhancer first and then go over it with this right here for a little bit of bronzing and a little bit of like a radiant finish, which is so pretty. I'm wearing it today right over here and I think it is literally stunning. I feel like if you're on vacation or you're going to like a brunch, this is like the perfect product. You can use both of these products on bare skin and I think it just transforms the skin Incredible, I'm obsessed and I just cannot get enough of it. Next two products are from Patrick Ta. I am so obsessed with his Body Glow products. This right here is the Face and Body All Over Glow Bomb, which has seriously like changed the game for me. I am obsessed with this. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush, a sponge. You basically just apply a little bit. It's a bomb texture and you apply it to the skin. It's not greasy, it's not sticky. I think it's the perfect product for summer. If you want that all over body glow, this is the product for you. It's definitely more of like that transparent kind of glow. It's not a ton of shimmer. It's not like glittery or anything. It's just like that beautiful sheen to the skin. So glowy, so healthy, and when the sun hits you, glazed donut effect, but in the best way possible. And this one right here is the body oil. I'm obsessed with this, and also these smell so incredible. It has like that luxe, fragrance. I love it. It's so pretty. Just spray it on, which is seriously insane. Use a brush. Oh my goodness. Especially like on shoulders, decolletage area, like on collarbones. Just has a little bit of shimmer. Nothing crazy. The way the light reflects it is gorgeous. I love Patrick Ta. I love the brand. Obsessed. Totally summer essentials for me. So 
would highly recommend them. My next summer essential is gonna be a little bit more random and it's more of like a lifestyle item. Um, this cup, hello. This is a beautiful glass. I picked it up from Target. I just think this is so cute, so chic and definitely like that trendy type of glass right now. I know you can get these on Amazon and there's so many options to choose from. Actually, fun fact, the reason why I love this one so much is that the straw is not glass. I've also been doing smoothies and green juices in here, so it's just the perfect size all around, which is great. But also, I know that all summer long I'm going to be using this. Definitely perfect for on the go as well. So the MAC Face and Body is an OG, but it's such a staple. I think it's gorgeous for summer. I think you cannot go wrong with MAC Face and Body while still giving like that sheer kind of coverage, looking so gorgeous. It gives a beautiful glow to the skin, really healthy like, and it's just such like a thin product. Can be used on the face or body, but it just looks so stunning on my skin. I definitely find myself gravitating to this product more in the summertime. It's really giving like that healthy glow to the skin while just kind of evening out the skin tone just a little bit. Love it, cannot go wrong. Then I have a sunscreen from La Roche-Posay and this one is the Ultra Light. This is SPF 60, which is great. So I just give it a little shake like so. And then when you actually apply it, it's a really thin consistency, which I adore. I personally don't like like a really thick sunscreen, especially for the face. I think it has to be like a really thin, almost a runny consistency just to blend into the skin. Almost like a serum, not so much like a moisturizer, if that makes sense. Like I just want it to be a little bit on the thinner side. This is so perfect, doesn't leave a white cast. It's just overall amazing. And I just think it blends out on the skin so well. You need SPF, so definitely check it out if you haven't. I know this is gonna be my essential all summer long. Tree Hut Tropic Glow. This is so, so good. I'm actually almost finished with it. My sister is literally obsessed with this product as well. It's just a firming body butter, smells incredible. If you apply this right after the shower, I'm telling you, your skin is going to feel the most hydrated it's ever felt, but also you just smell amazing. Like, trust me, go pick it up. You're going to love it. Firming whipped shea body butter. It is so, so good. It has amazing hydration and it's really light and airy. You can go anywhere with you on the go, travel right after the shower. It is beautiful. Next up is going to be blush. Now I actually have a few different blushes. This one right here is the Persona Cream Blush. It is new, so I haven't really used it all that often. I only used it three times so far, but if you guys know me, you guys know I love the multi-stick bronzer in the shade Sahara, which is definitely a summer essential. But when I tell you this blush is like incredible, it's incredible. It is so nice. It's in the shade Bubble. Rich, creamy texture, and I love it. It blends out amazing. I think it looks so stunning. It's like an effortless kind of blush. Can be used on the go. Throw it in your beach bag, throw it in your bag. Definitely, hands down, a favorite product of mine. It's new, but I know for the rest of the summer, I'm gonna be rocking it. And then of course, I love the cream blushes from Laura Mercier. These are the new tinted moisturizer blushes. They're so perfect. Again, really perfect for on the go, or if you wanna do a quick makeup look on either bare skin or on a light kind of makeup, or even on a full glam look, you definitely can get away with it, and it looks so, so stunning. And then this one right here is the Bare Minerals Blonzer, which is a blush and a bronzer in one. This one is in the shade Kiss of Pink, and it is gorgeous. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. Really soft to the touch, but it is a powder. And this is gorgeous for summer because of the little bit of shimmer that it gives. It just gives like a really healthy, radiant look to the skin without being too much. It's not over the top bronzy and it's not over the top blushy. It's like the perfect in between, which I love. So this lip product from Undone Beauty is by far one of the best at the drugstore that I've tried in a while. Lip glosses that are very moisturizing and have a little bit of like that high shine is definitely ones that I reach for, especially in the summer. These are hands down the best. It's in the shade Touch of Mahogany, and this is their big Papa gloss. Definitely good for on the go. I just love it. So moisturizing and has a beautiful high shine, and I think it is gorgeous for summer. The NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder, and this is a translucent powder, and this one's in the shade Crystal. So it's just a translucent powder in a pressed form. It just gives a really, really pretty mattified look. I just think it's perfect for summer because even if I just want to throw it in my bag, if I'm running errands or I'm going out, whatever, on a hot summer day, you wanna make sure you stay matte in those areas. As you can see, I have a little bit of like shine right here and here, so I'll do this side and you'll see the difference. But it's just translucent, so it's not gonna give any additional color, which is really nice. Whether it becomes a little bit oily or it actually just is the glow that you wanna to tone down a little bit, this is a gorgeous product to do so. It doesn't have to just be this powder. I reach for honestly any setting powder, but a pressed setting powder for summer is chef's kiss. So a skincare product that I absolutely have to have in my routine every single day, which doesn't change if it's winter, summer, spring, it doesn't matter. But for summer in particular, to keep my skin a little bit more like glowy and minimal makeup, not always, but majority of the time throughout the summer. So I wanna make sure my actual skin is healthy, hydrated, and 
all the above. So this right here from Ren is their AHA tonic. It's helped even out my skin tone, help minimize any like texture bumps that I had. So it has willow bark, it has lactic acid. So it's gonna be a little bit of an exfoliant, but very, very gentle on the skin and just makes my skin look really bright, really glowy. It's an essential for me all the time. But I figured I'd mention because for the summer, I do wanna have my skin looking nice and glowy on its own. Ren skincare is all clean. So I just love it all around. My last summer essential is gonna be this lip balm from Summer Fridays. It's such a gorgeous lip balm. It smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. It puts me like in a calming mindset. I don't know what it is and why, but it's just gorgeous. Everywhere from packaging to product is just so my vibe and aesthetic. It glides on the lips so perfect. And like I was saying earlier, I just love like glossy lip for the summer. Nine times out of 10, I'm wearing this alone, even like to the gym or throughout the day, I'm applying this as just my lip balm but I do like to apply it with a lip liner as well. Just line my lips and just apply a little bit of this on the lips. It's the most gorgeous lip. This is definitely like a summer must have. Have to have it, it's with me every day. Love it. So those are all of my summer essentials. I would love to hear what your summer essentials are. So let me know down below in the comments. And I think that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in my next one.